everybody, it's me Maddie from Totally Maddie and I am so glad you joined me today. We are here to make hot chocolate, Puerto Rican hot chocolate. All my friends are always telling me, how do you make this delicious hot chocolate? Well, I don't use the powder stuff. I actually use a bar. This is like amazing stuff, guys. If you have never tried it, it's Chocolate Cortez. And I love this. It is absolutely amazing and delicious. And the way that it comes, it is from a bar. Like chocolate bar. I mean, how good is that? Like, why would you not make this like this? So anyway, so I am going to tell you how to do it. Oh, another way that you might find at the store is abuelita, which means a little grandma. Um, and it's also a bar. So one part of this makes four cups, okay? Each bar of these makes one cup. So I'm just gonna make it as I go. So I have here a little bit of um, evaporated milk, which is the secret of these, okay? Evaporated milk is like the good stuff to put in here. Again, we're making Puerto Rican hot chocolate. Each bar, we have a lot of people coming. So we're gonna go ahead and wait until this melts a little. Well, it has to melt a lot. <laughs> So we're gonna wait a little bit. I put here two cups of evaporated milk and we are going to let that simmer a little bit. You don't want it boiling, you want it simmering. And we're gonna slowly break it into little pieces, okay? So there you go. So we'll wait until that simmers. James, you need to come. So we're gonna go ahead and get this simmering, but also let it, like you can tell over here, that the chocolate, as, as, the, as, the, as the evaporated milk gets, gets hotter, it starts melting the chocolate. So you wanna use a whisk so you can break it up really, really, really good. I have put here two cans of evaporated milk. And you want that because that's what gives the richness out of the, out of the, out of the hot chocolate. Because again, you make this bar, you wanna make really rich, rich, rich hot chocolate. So I remember eating this in Puerto Rico when I was a little girl and it was just so delicious because in Puerto Rico we eat it um, in the morning. We drink it in the morning. Even though it's so hot, we drink it in the morning and we eat it for breakfast. So we eat it with export like um, salty crackers. And I know it's gonna be a little bit weird for some people. We actually like to put a little bit of cheese in the bottom because as the cheese as the cheese melts with the hot chocolate, it gets gooey, so it's kinda like so it's kind of like eating cheese fondue with chocolate. I mean, delicious in the morning. No wonder we were so hyped when we were a kid. My mom made us chocolate with cheese in the morning. So over here, you can tell that it's melting a little bit more. And the wicks really does help. Look, it makes it frothy anyway. So you can tell that it's starting to. Now remember, you don't want this really to boil. You want this to simmer so it breaks. Okay, so over here, we're doing a really good job here. Then after this, because you don't want to drink just plain evaporated milk. I mean, you could, but you kind of want to break that sweetness a little bit. I am going to use a little bit of skim milk just to break the sweetness out of it. You can use 2%. I wouldn't recommend using whole milk. I mean, you can. It's your taste. It's your hot chocolate. You can do whatever you want. But I like the skim milk because the skim milk actually breaks that sweetness. So we're going to add that very good, but can you see how beautiful that is? Look at the color of that. So this, again, let me just show you what we're making. So you don't forget, we're making chocolate cortez. Again, if you cannot find it, Abuelita brand, it's really, it's really good also. Like, we have actually used it. Um, but this is like really good. And we're having a gathering with girls, and they want a Puerto Rican hot chocolate. So here we go. So it looks like it's pretty broken. So I am going to add... Um, I'm going to add like four cups of these. So we have one, this is really rich, two, three, and four. Just because it's really rich, I want to break that richness. So again, we're just going to whisk this together to make all those flavors get together and just go ahead and get merry a little bit. And as it simmers, and we can turn the temperature a little bit higher now because now the chocolate is all melted, so now we actually want to 
heat the hot chocolates because we want to drink hot chocolate hot and it snowed this weekend so this is like perfect for the girls so you can see the hot chocolate over here has incorporated and now it's simmering so it's delicious and it smells so good and it smells so rich so i love this so we're going to let this warm up a little bit and i would like to show you how we're going to serve this today on girls night we are so excited so let's move over here and do this this is a chocolate bar look at this so this is a hot cocoa bar so what i did over here is that i put some lights underneath the tablecloth and i made some really fun cups because we wanted to make really fun cups the little snowman and we have here i have those mint chocolate chips and i found these little jars at the dollar store so go run and go to the dollar tree and get these little jars these are palmerita cookies they're like maria cookies but they're palmerita cookies these are pirulines that we can buy there um i have some mini marshmallows because hello who doesn't want um who doesn't want hot cocoa without marshmallows and i thought it'd be kind of fun instead of getting stirs um to get little candy canes little well they're not candy cane they're candy stick peppermint sticks to stir your hot cocoa if you want to go see and i have here for whomever likes it i have cinnamon so and i told you that in puerto rico we do like to eat cheese so this is sharp yellow and white cheese so the girls can choose which one is it last year they were a little hesitant and then they try it and they really like it so you put the cheese you put the hot cocoa you do whatever you would like to add and you have a great old time but it's Puerto Rican hot cocoa chocolate cortez everybody thank you so much for joining me and welcome back to my website again it's totally maddie we like to do a lot of things mommy estoy haciendo chocolate caliente cortez como el que tú me enseñaste, con leche evaporada, con leche, y esto, y, les, y hoy tenemos una fiesta con mis amigas, y estamos haciendo una fiesta con una barra de chocolate donde todo el mundo puede poner lo que ellos quieren. Muchas gracias, baby. Have a good night. I'm going to go and play with the girls. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.